first dreary day. It's been a week of dry weather, which is absolutely wonderful. We've been able to get on with stuff. Um, but I'm actually really worried by how much my plot is behind everybody else's. Not in what I've done, but the actual background growth. And I'll show you what I mean today. In this photograph is my potatoes, but here's my Bramley tree. Only just getting into flower, which is very unusual. And I'll just show you a couple of examples of how much the climate has affected this allotment and this area this year. And I'll be comparing against other people's of plots that normally are miles ahead because of our location. I think it's because of the dreary weather we've had the most overcast um, spell since records began. A lot of rain, but not excessive rain, just many, many, many rain days. Not any cold. We haven't had a frost, I think, since January and it doesn't look like we're going to have anyone soon so that's tempted fate isn't it <laughs> well let's hope that's the case anyway i'll give you a quick tour of a few different examples of where we are i'll start on the potatoes very quickly because i don't dwell on that but we're doing reasonably okay on that walking down to my other plot now trees i mean this one this one here hasn't even got going just begin the first signs of growth up there and again with these not even in blossom yet very very unusual first bit of blossom going there massively late and I'll come down now to my onions this is a mixture of overwintering onions and new onions just planted in this is the overwintering ones Troy never have a problem with them this year absolutely rubbish miles beyond and then we have the strawberry bed <laughs> i mean you compare it to nick of the allotments uh site nick the gardener sorry <laughs> it's it's baleful and one of the things i did find interesting is that the actual plants i did dig, dig up that had really gone were they haven't been suffering, suffering from anything like, um, let's just try this one. Yeah, look, there's, there's no, this is planted early autumn. There's just no regrowth there. Tell it's not vulnerable with damage because the roots will be gone. But uh, the roots are still there and plastic pollution, of course. But they've just rotted off. In, I can only put it down to the excessive wet. I saw my carrots a week ago to see how they're doing. They shouldn't be popping up yet, but I will uncover them today. They're yeah, not through yet. Maybe the first signs are, but I'll uncover them today so that the plastic will have should have done its job now. And uh, hopefully they'll all come through in the next couple of days. So, just to give you another look in, the spinach is in. A little bit more ground to be occupied yet. And this is the carrot bed. Something's been digging in underneath the soil, so perhaps a good job that I uncovered it. Carrot should be up soon. Uh, I just want to show you one other thing as well, because the storm, Storm Kathleen, I think it was Kathleen, brought me seaweed. So, I have mulch under here, seaweed, this is on top of the green manures that were just being killed off now with the carpet. That there will be the best ground I have all year for growing, which is the seaweed. <laughs> all behind in Plymouth. Now then, I will show you these strawberries, these are new runners planted in the autumn. These are coming on better. These are looking roughly about where they should be. Um, perhaps I could have anticipated a little bit more in the way of growth. 
because they're in good ground. They're in tubs because I anticipate moving this year. Uh, one success, or so far as a success, is the garlic. The garlic is coming on absolutely lovely. In raised pots because of uh, onion rot. Plenty of weeds. <laughs> I've got a real butter man this year. Um, but yeah, these seem to have done well. So they're out of the ground, perhaps a little bit more drained than normal. So it, these could... It could be more so the, the, the rain than perhaps. I don't know. What do I know? And here's one of the other disasters. Look at that dandelion. Missed that one. <laughs> oh well, we're not even fallible. Field beans. Absolutely rubbish. Not, it's not, not down to nu nutrition. This soil is in A1 condition. You'll see a great crop from it later on. But all my green manure crops this year have been pants so here is my second release all through and the weeds as well <laughs> i'll deal with them one day kestrel curse pink and charlotte i'll come across here to my first release that are still fleeced up just in case there's a frost and they're looking rather lovely so quick view along this trench yeah they're doing well please excuse the weeds but I've had a terrible time recently but the red currants on many of the channels they're in full flower mine just started now what a oh, just fell down this hole <laughs> And there's my Bramley just coming up into flower now. All very late. So I'll finish off this video with a view of the potatoes. I've, I've decided not to do a video on potatoes because I've, I've done it plenty of times before and you all know what I'll get up to. You've got four different types of compost here. So in this, in this row here I've got worm finished compost this one is country finished compost this third row here is compost from 2023 that was exhausted that I've recomposted with seaweed um, let's see how the, these compare and then the end compost is basic compost which should compare these against the other three and then on a couple of them I'm going to be adding fertilizer in and a couple others I'll be adding something else I don't quite know what yet all my own compost no bought in stuff no manure just well it's all plant-based actually this lot so this could be for a vegan if so needed but i'm not so <laughs> i don't know what i said that for anyway, look, there you go it's all going i will update you on these later in the year and so, uh, when the time comes to closer to how the growth is coming out and how the, the, the year is pa panning out but for now I think you just, you'll just see the same old thing you can always go back through my videos before perhaps I'll put a link up on one um, to show what I've done before to show these plants I just don't see how you're going to gain any information from me watching me plant them again uh, just making videos for the sake of it Better have an air cut before the next one. <laughs> Looks a bit of a shambles, I know, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so I will see you on the next one. I don't know when that'll be. And my chaotic life can allow me the space and time. <laughs> see you again, guys. Kate, though.